Hey guys, it's Shamise1982. What's up? Um, so I thought I'd do kind of an informative video today um, on how to figure out your skin type. So there's a lot of you guys that watch my videos that are still beginners in makeup or maybe experimenting different things and you may not know how to check for your skin type. Um, so those of you who know what your skin type is and you know for sure what your skin type is, you don't have to watch this video. Um, the reason why it's a good thing to know your skin type is because a lot of beauty companies cater products towards certain skin types. So what may work for an oily skin person may not work for um, a person that has dry skin or vice versa or combination skin or normal skin. Um, so it's best to know what your skin type is because when you purchase any moisturizing products, cleansing products, foundation, things like that, knowing your skin type will actually help. Um, it may alleviate some issues that you're having when it comes to application of um, products and things like maybe it doesn't stick, you know, hey, this works good for this girl, but this doesn't work good for me, kind of things like, um, I don't know, I just winked at you guys. Um, <laughs> but just just things like that. So that is really, really important when it comes to make makeup or skincare, getting rid of acne, things like that. So, the, of course, there's other environmental factors and we contribute to acne and things like that, but knowing your skin type will help. Um, so, I want to show you an easy, really easy way to determine your skin type. Four types of skin. There's dry skin, there's oily skin, there's combination skin, and there's normal skin. So, a great way to determine whether you have oily, dry, normal, or combination skin is either at night if you do, um, if you wash your face at night and then in the morning you put on your makeup or particularly right after you wash your face if you have about 30 minutes later that sort of thing you can do this either time. So if you're, whether you want to do this right after you wash your face, 30 minutes after you wash your face or um, right when you wake up in the morning. I would recommend doing it right when you wake up in the morning because your face had more time to become normal to where it's where it's used to being, you know. Um, so you want to take a tissue or a paper towel or even some toilet paper if, you, if your face is that small. Um, and you want to take it and you want to lay it on your face. Leave it on there for between one minute to five minutes. It's up to you. If you want to have a little snooze while you're doing it, you can. Um, you want to leave it on there for that period of time. Once you take it off, for dry skin, if it didn't even contour to your face or do anything, like it just laid flat, then you probably have dry skin, okay? If you took it off and you notice that there's oil across the top and through the middle, um, that means that you have combination skin. So that's your T-zone. So if you tend to get acne across your forehead, um, down your nose, over your lips, and on your chin, and your your cheeks seem to become dry, then you have combination skin for sure. But the knowing is if you see oil in any of those areas on your face, on the napkin, that is for sure that you have combination skin. Now for oily skin people, you will have oil all over your face, so that would be on your cheeks, around, like does not matter where on your face. So that's where the confusion comes in between the two, combination and oily skin, because you have a combination of dry and oily skin, but the oil only contours to your to your T-zone, so up here, down your nose, up above your lips, and on your chin. If you have oily skin, you're going to have oil on your cheeks, everywhere on your face. So you tend to get probably get more blemishes in this area of your of your face, so you definitely have oily skin. Again, if you're if the towel did not contour your, to your face, then you have dry skin. You don't see any residue. But if you were to have it so that it laid on it contoured to your skin, so it had something to adhere to, but it wasn't enough to go onto the napkin, then you have normal skin, which is very very rare. Like I think like 12% of people, which I'm totally making up the number, but majority of people have combination skin. So um, that is one of the common things, which is what a uh, majority of companies make their things for um, but if you specifically have oily skin you want to look for products that um, aren't going to contribute to more oil on your face or products that are going to soak up oil on your face dry skin of course you want to look for more of the moisturizing um, products um, or you know get a good moisturizer I use St. Ives um, collagen elastic moisturizer on my face and I have combination skin so I tend to get um, blemishes 
y'all in this area actually you can see I have one here um <laughs> But my cheeks tend to be very dry. So you got to be very careful with the products that you purchase when you have combination skin because you don't want to contribute to the oil. Um, toner acts um, a really great product for people that have combination skin because it will soak up some things and fix some things and work some things. Um, so anyways, I hope this was a good informative video, um, a little trick to learn how to... Um, determine what skin type you have because that really 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 will help you when you're purchasing products so if you like this video comment below um, or if you have any questions please let me know I am more than happy to answer that question for you and I will see you guys in another video